What if you could turn a single product image into a professional video, complete with music, animation, and ready to post, all in one click? In this video, I'll show you how I fully automated the entire process, including auto-posting to social media platforms. Whether you're promoting your own products or working as an affiliate, this workflow does it all, hands-free. For this demo, I'm using two example products, a lamp and a burger. With this automation, I'll turn both into short, professional videos, fully automated. To make it work, you just need to fill out a few fields in Airtable. Product name, product description, product image, from your own products or your clients. Image prompt, animation prompt, music prompt. All the text fields can be written manually or generated using ChatGPT. Once that's done, the automation will handle the rest. Animating the image, adding music, merging everything into a video, and even auto-posting it to social media. It's fast, scalable, and perfect for product promotion or affiliate marketing. Now let me show you the images and videos generated by this automation. Each one started from a simple product photo, either from my own products or a client's, and was transformed into a short, professional video using AI. Let's take a look. You can find this automation inside my Automation Tribe School community, where I share over 32 powerful, ready-to-use automations. We also have an active group of members constantly sharing ideas, improvements, and new use cases. So, you're not building alone. Once you download the automation, you'll need to import it into your own N8N instance. Just click on the three small dots in the top right corner of N8N then select Import from File. Next, head to the Classroom section and click the link provided to duplicate the Airtable base. Make sure to save a copy to your own Airtable account so the automation can connect properly. And if you don't have an account yet or you're not ready to join the community, no problem. Just stick around. I'll walk you through the entire process step by step so you can create this automation on your own from scratch. To start, you'll need to set up your Airtable base with the following columns long text fields, product name, product description, image prompt, animation prompt, music prompt. These will hold all the creative inputs for each product. Attachment fields, product image, upload the original product photo here. Real life photo, this image will be generated based on your product image. Animated video, stores the generated video without music. Sound. This is the sound generated using your prompt. And final video. The fully rendered video with music status field. Status. Set this as a single select with two options. To do. Done. Once this base is ready, your automation will know exactly where to pull content from and where to upload the final results. Now let me show you how this automation was built. We start with a trigger node. This can be scheduled to run at intervals or triggered manually, depending on how often you want to process new records. Next is a set node. Here, I'm simply storing all the API keys needed for the services used in this automation, like file.ai uploadpost.com. At the end of this node, I also include my upload post username, which I'll explain later when we get to the publishing step. Now we connect to Airtable with a search records node. Make sure to select the correct base and table that you set up earlier. Here's the important part. You need to add a formula filter so it only pulls the rows where the status is set to to do. This keeps things clean and ensures that only new items are processed. The fourth node is an HTTP request. In this step, I'm using Flux Pro slash context to generate a contextual image, meaning it can take a product image and place it inside a realistic background scene based on the prompt from Airtable. For example, if you look inside my Airtable base, you'll see that the lamp and the burger aren't just floating on a white background. 
they're placed in real-life environments like a living room or a restaurant scene. That's what makes the final video feel more natural and professional. The first image, the one with the lamp, actually comes from one of our Automation Tribe members. I highly recommend you check it out at the link below. You'll see the original lamp photo in context. I simply copied that image and added it to my Airtable base under the Product Image field. Then, using the HTTP request node with Flux Pro context, I generated a realistic scene around it based on the prompt provided. This step automatically places the product into a natural environment, which makes the final video look polished and professionally shot, without any manual editing. This HTTP request node has a few key settings. I'll scroll down the page so you can see exactly how it's configured. Of course, if you want to customize it further, you can visit the Flux Context API documentation and adjust the parameters as needed. More prompts, different styles, etc. Next, we have a wait node set to 30 seconds. This gives the system enough time to generate the image before we fetch the result. Then comes a second HTTP request node. This one is used to retrieve the final image once it's ready. After that, we update Airtable using the update record node. Here we upload the generated image into the corresponding field in Airtable. I'll show you the settings I used so you can easily replicate them. Now, let's move into the second section of the automation generating a video from the image. Once again, I'll use an HTTP request node. This time, we're calling the Seedance 1.0 Pro API, a powerful model that delivers high-quality video animations from static images at a very reasonable cost. Here are the exact settings I used in this node. If you want to tweak the parameters or explore additional options, I recommend checking out the official Seedance API documentation. Next, we add a wait node, this time set to five minutes, to give Seedance enough time to fully render the animated video. After the wait, we insert another HTTP request node. This one retrieves the video URL once it's ready. And finally, we update the Airtable record with the generated video by using an update record node, placing the final URL in the appropriate column. Now let's move on to generating the audio for our product video. This part of the automation uses four nodes. HTTP request. This is where we generate the audio using the ACE step model. You can find more details and API documentation here. I've included my full settings below so you can replicate or adjust them easily. Wait node. Set to one minute to give ACE step enough time to finish generating the audio. HTTP request. This node fetches the final audio URL once it's ready. Airtable update record. Here, we store the audio file link back into our Airtable base. I map it directly to the audio column or whatever label you've set in your base. Now comes the final assembly step, merging the video with the audio into a complete, ready to post product video. For this, we'll use another great tool from FAL.ai, the FFmpeg Compose API. HTTP request. This node sends both the video and audio URLs to the FFmpeg API. Make sure you map the correct video and audio URLs from your previous Airtable update steps. Accuracy here is key. Wait node, set this to two minutes to allow time for FFmpeg to render the merged video. HTTP request. This node retrieves the final video file after merging. Airtable update record. Lastly, this node saves the final merged video URL into your Airtable base under the final video column or your preferred label. If you want to take it one step further and automatically publish the video to your social platforms, I highly recommend using uploadpost.com. I recently discovered this platform, and it's one of the easiest ways to publish content to multiple networks. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Here's how to connect it to your automation. Sign up at uploadpost.com. You'll get free monthly credits to start. Go to the API keys section, copy your API key, and paste it into your second node in N8N, where credentials are set. Click on Manage Users, add your Upload Post username, and then connect your social accounts YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, etc. 
Now back to N8N. Add an HTTP request node with the get method to download the final video as a binary file. Follow this with another HTTP request node. This one will use the upload post API to publish your video. Use the settings I show in this step and make sure to select the correct social network, map the right values, video, caption, title, etc. That's it for this automation. From a simple product image to a fully animated video, complete with music and automatic social media publishing, all done in just a few clicks. If you're already in the automation tribe, you can download the full workflow from the classroom. And if you're not a member yet, now's a great time to join. There are over 30 powerful automations waiting for you. Thanks for watching. And go turn your product shots into real content that sells.